J.C. Swaminarayan, day two in Alaska tour with Motamarasi. Today we have visited the Palmer's Museum, which is famous for growing uh, big vegetables. Live piano music is playing by Mr. Charles, our tour guide, while we visiting a uh, Palmer's. Main reason of having uh, big uh, vegetables due to the 20 hours of sunshine in June. Museum ni under so varasti upper na equipment ane juni juni vastu ano samavesh karwa maavelche. An example of the Trans Alaska Pipeline right here. The steel was purchased um, from Japan. Hundred million dollars worth of steel for 800 miles of pipeline. This pipeline pumps from Prudhoe Bay, the top of Alaska, all the way to the southern terminal Valdez. And uh, we're going to actually head up north to the actual real pipeline as we work our way um, on this beautiful. Yeah, welcome to Willow, Alaska. And then we have the warming shop yes, for everybody. Yep. I'll walk, I'll walk.
Okay, smile. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Rosie. After completing a sled dog ride, we are heading to Maska or Farm, which is a historical animal of Alaska. Muskox are more like goats than they are like cows. And if you've been around a goat before, you know that that means they head butt, which means that they are fully equipped to survive in the wild. They have all of the natural behaviors that muskox in the wild have, which is headbutt first, ask questions later. Cool down. Um, at one point in time, muskox and plants and lovely growth in July, August, you're still, you only collect the hair from them in the springtime. So about April to June, and that is because it sheds off naturally. You do not cut it. They're double coated. That coat of hair you're looking at takes about four years to fully grow in. If you cut it, they're bald and they have no protection from the elements like the rain or the wind or anything or bug bites. Um, and what we want is the winter under hair that sheds off naturally in the spring. So we collect it and we collect it by hand. We hand collect it from the fence, from the pasture, and through combing with some very advanced equipment. We hand comb them. Glaciers are some of the last pure water on earth and um, that's why Anchorage really the water is amazing in Anchorage to drink um, because again it's, it's all met runoff from glaciers here. Well so glacier water will have silt which is basically uh, basically a crushed up rock. Glaciers the definition of a glacier is a flowing river of ice and basically as gravity pulls that glacier down it pulverizes the rock the mountains, everything, 
and creates a fine powder uh, that's called silt. And so this water has to be treated, of course, to remove all that. But this is the weather we needed for this. It's only, I look at the weather and it's only supposed to be clear while we're here. Beautiful, huh? This is again just real mother nature. Lake Aklutna and how Aklutna got its name is Yatna. The Adonai natives in this area used to come to the Lake Aklutna. And two sisters came out of the outlet of Aklutna Lake for trout. And being without food, they had gone up there to collect the trout. A trout swam into one of their fish traps, and it was a little trout, and they threw it back into the water upstream. So Zatna woman threw the little fish back in with its head facing upstream. And when they said to it, you go back to your mother and father, we might have saved ourselves from starvation by eating you. You tell him that you are too small. 